pink, it's called the pink prison, so they, these cellmates have to wear pink, the towels are pink, the shoes are pink, the walls are painted pink, and you know, it appears to be a humiliation uh, of rage, but they argue that the recidivism rate is dropped. What do you think about that? Well, that, that started in the jail I was at. The Sheriff Joe Apio is known as the sheriff who started to sell pink boxer shorts on the internet. I just got a postcard from a prisoner in there and he's sellotaped a bunch of pink lint that had been flown around in his cell to, to the postcard. Um, it's not working in Phoenix from what I've seen. Like I said, these young people come in and it's just pure gang culture. And in Texas as well, um, from what I'm aware, Texas, Nevada, California, it's, it's all pretty much the same now. We've got these, these prison gangs that are just running it and turning people into enemies of society. I've got one more question. Okay. The book A Million Little Pieces was... Critiqued. Just read it. Yeah, which was critiqued for being yeah. untrue. Yeah. How do you evidence what you're saying? So you say you've referred to right. videos which could be manufactured. How do you evidence it? Well, yeah, I put that video on the internet of the Aryan Brotherhood murdering that guy in the jail. I was like, that's one thing. Um, in the book I've written, I've, re I've gone over all of my conversations with the various prisoners. Either they've been released, and we've gone all over the detail and I've recorded it to capture the, the nuances of their speech and stuff like that as well. And my life story's coming out as a trilogy, and I'm doing that presently as well with all, all, a bunch of characters out of America. I mean, our memories are not perfect, so if I can enhance that by talking to other people, I will do. But you know, nothing's ever going to be 100%. It's just because our memories are just not.